Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video in our series of videos uh, dealing with using SPSS uh, and specific SPSS procedures and the generation of statistics and so on uh, is going to deal with uh, how to run a simple linear regression okay, uh, using SPSS. What I mean by a simple linear regression is where we have a single independent variable uh, and we have a single dependent variable. Okay? Uh, what I mean by independent variable and dependent variable is that the independent variable we believe will help us to understand uh, the variance or the change associated with our dependent variable. Uh, it's simple in that case that there's a single dependent and single independent variable. We can make them, uh, I suppose, more complex and we can actually go to to, I suppose, a build multiple regression models, okay, where we have more than one independent variable, okay. But in this case, it's a simple model. Uh, we're not going to be testing any of the preconditional assumptions associated with regression analysis. That's going to be done in other videos along with this. But this is just concentrating on how to get the data into SPSS and how to run how to run the model itself, okay. So what I have here is I have some uh, data here, uh, which represents, I suppose, uh, self-reported, uh, let's say, self-reported measures from a number a number of participants in a study. Okay? Now it's pretty pretty small. There's only 69 participants uh, in this particular study, uh, and what we measured was we measured their job satisfaction, how happy they were in their current in their current role in their current job, uh, high scores indicating that they're satisfied, low scores indicating that they're not satisfied, and that was measured off a 10 item inventory or 10 item scale uh, which was designed and taken off the shelf yeah it was a previously designed scale to measure job satisfaction and from the responses on those 10 items uh, we created a composite score variable which we've labeled and called job satisfaction and these scores here represents a person's or an individual's uh, overall satisfaction in relation to the in relation to their role or their job or their, or their work that they currently do and as I've mentioned already High values mean that they're satisfied, low values mean they're not satisfied. Right? And then what we also did was we, no, I don't actually have the scale listed here yet, but we have another scale, okay, uh, that has a number of items on it, okay, and that scale is trying to measure or trying to try to measure or understand a, an employee's intention to leave their organization, okay. Once again, uh, in this situation here, okay, high scores mean uh, that you don't intend to leave, with low scores indicating that you do intend to leave. And what I want to run is I want to run a regression analysis to see whether there's a relationship between between uh, both, both, of both, both of those variables. But first of all, let's just actually plot the relationship between these variables. So I'm trying to predict intention to leave based off job satisfaction. So I think intention to leave is dependent on your satisfaction in your job, yeah? Which is not necessarily always the case. I mean, you can be very happy with it, happy within your within within your current work and practice. Uh, and just want to leave for professional development perspectives uh, pur purposes that there's greater opportunities somewhere else, so you might want to leave. Uh, but we're just assuming that there is a relationship between job satisfaction and intention to leave. And more importantly, that job satisfaction uh, predicts intention to leave, okay? That intention to leave is dependent on job satisfaction. Okay, I just want to just plot the relationship between these using a the scatter plot. So I'm just going to go to graphs, legacy dialogues, a scatter dot plot, okay? A, a simple model, okay? And I've already put them in here, okay? But let me maybe just reset this here, okay? And my independent variable always goes in on the x-axis. In this case, my independent variable is job satisfaction, okay? And my dependent variable will always be on the y-axis, okay? In this case, intention to leave, okay? So I want to generate a scatter plot. So I'm just going to hit OK now. And what we get out is we get a, a scatter plot of the relationship between job satisfaction and intention to leave. Okay, so what we can see here is this: is that low scores on the job satisfaction scale seem to be associated with low scores on the intention to leave scale. Okay, high scores on the job satisfaction seem to be associated with high scores on the intention to leave scale. Now, once again. Well, I probably should have really, really reversed the coding on the intention to leave scale, so that's actually better that we can interpret it better. But I mean, just for this purposes here, we're just assuming that high scores on job satisfaction mean that you're happy, low scores mean that you're sad, okay, or you're not satisfied. And in relation to intention to leave, it's a little bit, it's reversed, okay, it's flipped. Uh, high scores uh, mean that I intend to stay. 
and low scores mean I am going to leave. Okay, uh, probably should rename that variable. Actually, let me just rename that variable now so it makes it makes a little bit more sense yeah, in SPSS. Yeah, okay, in relation to the output. So I'm just going to go into my variable view. I'm actually going to just call this intention to stay. Okay, that would probably a, that's probably a better way to interpret what's going on here. So intention to stay. Uh, let me just rerun the chart again. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to go back into SPSS graphs. Legacy dialogues, scatter dot plot, uh, simple. And let's just rerun this now. Intention to stay. So I hit OK on that. And actually, this, this is my chart here. Okay. So high values on job satisfaction means that you're happy. Low values mean that you're sad. In relation to the intention to stay, high values mean you're going to stay, and low values mean you're not going to stay. And we can sort of see that there seems to be a linear relationship between these two these two variables. You know, we can see that the scatter lines, the scatter the scatters or the uh, the dots, yeah, are all seem to be banded and going up in a linear direction. Albeit there are a number of values that uh, deviate from from uh, that particular that particular pattern uh, that that we're observing here. But I think this is a lot of evidence here to suggest that there is a linear relationship between job satisfaction and intention to stay, just from a descriptive perspective looking at the graph. Okay? But I wonder, what is the mathematical relationship between them? I mean, can we say, can we generate an equation where we have something like intention to stay is equal to some value plus some other value times job satisfaction? Okay? And the way we do that is, I suppose we generate